Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you with a how-to video about the Norcold uh, refrigerator freezer that you'd have in the back of one of our tags, or maybe some other uh, RV that you might have it in. You might maybe you just bought it and you're just using it for you know tent camping. But anyway, I want to kind of go over this with you. Uh, there was a lot of questions I've been getting on this, uh, but for more information on any other RVs, be sure if you call, if you email. Or if you stop by, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. But for right now, let's get on to this refrigerator. I'll explain it to you. So, this refrigerator, now the one we have here, as you can see, is the NRF 30. They make a few different sizes. Now the ones that we have, I'm gonna be showing you the tag. So this is by New Camp. So this is a teardrop uh, camper and show you this. And basically what you have is you look in here you have a basket area that's deep, and then you have a little area up on the top, top left as you're looking at it. Basically, when you're setting this, if you want to set this for a freezer, folks, what you're able to do is everything in the basket would be your frozen stuff. The stuff over here on the, on the left-hand side would be just refrigerating. So it wouldn't actually freeze up on the little, little area up there. But now let's talk about how you set this and so forth. So on the left hand side, you're gonna see on the bottom, these are 12 volt only. So you need to ignore this statement that they have here because we're not, you're not gonna be using an AC-DC converter. This is 12 volt only. But so you'd turn it on here and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna set your temperature up here. You'll set your temperature to whatever temperature you'd like to have it at. You know, if you wanna have it as a refrigerator, you can. If you wanna have it as a uh, freezer you can go ahead and uh, change it right now you can see it's reading 63 Fahrenheit but you can go ahead and just adjust the temperature here and adjust it down now the other thing you want to set which is probably more importantly is when you want it to go off and basically what you'd want to have it because you want to leave some power if you're dry camping this is only if you're dry camping if you're plugged into power you don't need to really worry about this, okay? But if you're dry camping, I would recommend that you set it at one or three. And the reason, man, you can set it at two if you wanted to as well. But what it's doing is, see, you're, it'll come on as long as your power is 11.6. It's going to go off if it's down at 10.7. Or over here, you're seeing it's 11.3, 10.4. So that would be... The recommendation to have it in either one or three if you're just out using your 12 volt power that would leave you a little bit of power uh, to use for your lights so hopefully you found this to be a little bit helpful maybe understand that a little bit more i know that the owner's manuals are quite uh, vague uh, but for any more questions on this feel free to shoot me a comment or any other campers uh, and stay tuned i got some great things coming down the pike Thanks for watching, and we'll come back at you again shortly.